The upper tension is on the face plate of the Singer 1591. So the first step is we remove the face plate. There's this medium sized screw here. We're going to remove the tensioner from this front plate. We will first pull back the dial indicator or push it down. I'm on a table here and it has to be clear of a pin that's right under that's attached to this thumb uh, screw so we can turn the thumb screw. It's off. I'll be placing these items on a napkin because they're kind of grimy when they first come off. Here's the numbered indicator. I call it a cup. Here's the stop washer. This little piece on top points toward you. This is called a beehive spring. Some people call it a coil. You'll notice that the uh, line or the in the middle is attached to a kind of like a little cup shape on the bottom. I also call this a cup. This is the plus minus indicator. Here's the disc and then this thread guard. I will remove the rest of the parts from the tensioner. There are two small screws on the side of this, I believe it's called a lug. This screw goes just a little, almost to the center of this little opening here. Just a tiny bit below the center. Again, putting it on my napkin because they're a little crunchy. To use a smaller screwdriver for this one. Oh, maybe the larger one will work. Does. I'm pulling this out, and here's the release pin that probably drop out of the center of this. I tapped a little. Okay, it did pull out. Here it is. It's a little over an inch long. Here's the check spring. It's an unusual shape here of uh, the uh, tension rod. inner collar here. You can see the check spring wire is protruding in between the gear right there and I have the pin in here. You can see it's moving back and forth and I'm going to set this whole unit down into here at my bridge here so it doesn't touch the bottom. I'm going to tighten these two screws on the side this top screw goes just below the middle and if you get it tight this area here will not continue to move. Now I'll tighten the bottom screw. Not too tight right now because I'm going to check here and I got I put my finger here so this pin doesn't come out as I'm checking. Yes yeah, so you can see that dark metal is just about level with this. Okay, and that pin went back in there. Okay, when you push this all the way you want it to come back. It's coming back. Okay. 
the rest of it's actually easy. You put this uh, thread guard, some call it a thread guide, on next. And this larger protruding area is almost horizontal this way. And I'm going to check here. I, I'm looking at this point, this uh, tension rod, the slit doesn't look completely horizontal. I can still alter it at this point. I just need to loosen the screw, the two screws. Make sure I don't drop my pin on the inside of the uh, tension rod. I can turn it a little bit. See, I'm just adjusting it a little bit. I'm tightening those two screws again. A little tough to get everything done here, but you can do it. It's a little tough. You can do it. Okay. And you see there's this little protrusion that fits down into this little gap here. I'll lift it up and you can see the little gap and you can see the protrusion. And it goes down in here so you know that. You got it seated right. Okay. And then you will put your disc, the flat sides facing each other, like symbols. You'll put them together and slip them over your tension rod. And then you will put your little, uh, it's a minus plus uh, indicator, tension indicator here. And then what they call the beehive spring. Some call it a coil. You want to put the stop washer in next. And it will actually be stopped by a little protrusion on the inside of this dial indicator. It's the number indicator, the tension number indicator. Put that on next. Then there is a little pin that's coming out of this thumb screw, and that pin needs to go into one of these holes. You can push this whole unit down, there's spring. You start screwing this on. You screw this thumb screw on, and this takes a little experience to notice how far down to, to screw it. Okay, I see the top of this uh, tension rod is just about level with this. And so now I'm, I'm trying to wiggle this little pin on the back to kind of catch on in one of these holes here. So it's level. Right now it's not quite level. It needs to go into one of these holes. So I'm going to kind of push it down there. I just push it down with my fingernails, my thumbnails, and it popped up and uh, it found a little hole there. And so now I see I can turn this between zero and eight. Mm, not good enough. I'm going to undo this thumb screw a little bit more. Again, okay there. All the way to zero, then all the way to nine. There, that's good. That's what you want. So when it's at the very top, actually, this tension rod is uh, just a tiny bit below level with this uh, thumb screw, the top of the thumb screw. That's how it should look.